Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to set up Wi-Fi network on TP-Link Archer BE3600. I will show you two methods, so watch the full video and let's get into it right now. First of all, you need to connect your router to the internet source and here is nothing to guess about because this router has just only one internet input. It's blue and it's labeled internet, so you need to take an Ethernet cable and plug into this port. Remaining ports are LAN outputs. You can use them to connect access points, smart TVs, gaming consoles, and so on. Uh, this port is 2 gigabit per second as labeled, and other ports are 1 gigabit per second each. Uh, also, you can connect USB flash drive to this router to access your files even without the internet connection. So, uh, once connected, another end of this cable you need to plug into your internet source. Uh, in most cases, this is LAN output on your modem. Sometimes it's LAN socket in the wall, which means your modem is hidden somewhere in a technical room by your ISP. Anyway, you need to locate the internet source and connect uh, modem and rotor like this. Uh, next, you need to power on your rotor. So, plug in the power socket, plug in the adapter to a power outlet and don't forget to press the power button. Next you need to wait until the power indicator stops blinking and so you need four solid indicators internet, Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz, Wi-Fi 5 GHz and power. And it means the rotor is ready to set up. Now you have two options to set up your rotor. The first one is TP-Link Tether application and the second one is the rotor's web interface. The result will be the same, but this method have just a couple minor differences. I will show you both methods and I will show you the differences. But let's start with TP-Link Tether application. So get this app from App Store or Google Play Store, depending on your smartphone operating system and open the app. Accept the terms of use. This checkbox is optional hit continue and allow to find devices on local networks. This is critical to set up your router, so hit allow. And um, uh, if that pop-up didn't show up for you, uh, here click on go to settings and make sure the local network is enabled. Then go back to the application and tap I've already given local network permission. Uh, the first difference uh, from computer setup is you have to log in to your TP-Link account to use this application. Let me skip the step of account creation. If you don't have one, just tap on create a TP-Link ID and uh, complete the registration process. Let me just log in to my account and continue setup. If you don't want to create account in any case, uh, you need to set up your router on a computer. I don't want to allow notifications so far. I can change this in settings later and to stop step verification also maybe later. Just maybe. No devices found is because we are not connected to the router's setup network. What we need to do now? Uh, we need to hit add device, select add a router, Make sure LEDs are solid on, tap on that. And two options, you can connect to the router setup network manually with this credential. You have network name and password on the product label on the bottom of your router or just automatically scan QR codes, allow access to camera, scan this QR and join to the network automatically. Once your router found, just hit set up this device Connect the rotor to your modem, already done, hit the next arrow, restart your modem, so do this and hit modem is restarted. And now you need to set device password, this is not your Wi-Fi password so far, this is password to manage the device later from web interfaces and other smartphones. So you have to enter at least 8 symbols and at least 1 digit. I recommend you to create better password than in this example, but anyway, make sure the password, passwords are matching and hit next. And now select your internet connection type. If you are not sure, just leave dynamic IP. Uh, if you really don't, don't know what to enter here, just contact your internet provider and ask about your internet connection type. But in most cases, this is dynamic IP. Uh, advanced settings, what is here? 
mm, we don't need advanced settings unless you know something special uh, hit next and finally create your wi-fi network name and password for this example i'm using simple password but i recommend you to create a stronger one done and next I don't want to save passwords. Uh, now keep your router updated. I recommend you to enable auto update and set update time when you, for example, sleep in. So let's enable auto update. Uh, confirm your network settings. Remember or write down your device password. It's more important than Wi Fi password because knowing this password, you can change this password. This is the most important password for you. Apply. They say it may take about one minute. Let's check this. Now the application wants to create, uh, to join to your new created network. So hit join. So your system is up and running. Hit finish and it takes you to the application's home screen. The first thing I recommend you to do after setup is switch to more tab, then scroll down, select system and check for firmware updates. And if you have some updates to install, just hit update all and uh, wait for updates to be installed and uh, rotor to restart. Once downloaded, hit install. Uh, wait for this time uh, but now let me stop let me pause the video and uh, let's move on after update is completed so update complete unable to connect to device please check your wi-fi connection it means you're disconnected from your wi-fi network so find it in your wi-fi network settings Connect and go back to the application, hit complete, wait some time, that's it, select your router and you're back in the application. Um, take some time to explore this app, it's uh, pretty good and it's packed with features. Basic features uh, the people ask about the most are organized in these tiles, other features explore by yourself. Now let's move on to web interface setup. To set up the router on a computer, you need to connect your computer to the router's setup network. You already know where to get the credentials on the product label, so connect to the router's setup network and then open a web browser. On Windows, I recommend you to use default Microsoft Edge because in other browsers sometimes they show this window, unsupported browser, in, for some reason, I don't know. So use Microsoft Edge on Windows and Safari on Mac devices and in the search bar enter the router's default IP address. It looks like this. Then hit enter and it takes you to the web interface. Now you need to create uh, the device password to manage device. Once again at least eight symbols and at least one digit. Uh, let's get started. And the second important difference in computer setup is that you can right away change the router mode and connect it as an access point. If you have another main router that is more powerful than this one, uh, you can set up an access point and it will just extend uh, your Wi-Fi range. Access point is connected to your main router by wire. Keep this in mind. So if you need this feature, uh, you can do it right away from computer only. Uh, but we need to set up the main router. So you need to select your time zone, any time zone for this example. Casablanca, perfect. Uh, hit next, also select dynamic IP or hit auto detect. Uh, you don't, if you don't need to change uh, your device's MAC, and MAC address, once again hit next. And the following dialog is pretty the same. You need to create your Wi-Fi network name, password and wait for some time for the connection to establish. Uh, and that's pretty it. I won't walk you through the further steps because I, they are really the same. If you want to add your router to TP-Link Tether application after computer setup, just connect your smartphone to your new Wi-Fi network. 
then go to TP-Link Tether application and your router will be just found right away. Tap on that. Uh, if required, enter your admin password you created on the setup process and you're all set. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye guys.